Hello, and welcome back to Redneck Snack and Food Reviews. So, today is my first ice cream, pint of ice cream review I've had in a while. Um, I've done some Bluebell reviews. I don't, I think, no, I don't think I have ever done a Ben & Jerry's review um, with uh, Redneck Snack and Food Reviews. So, that's pretty hype. That's pretty exciting that I'm finally... Doing a Ben and Jerry's review. This flavor's been out uh, at least a couple weeks now. I'd say about a month, maybe, um, depending on where you're at. But uh, Ben and Jerry's has been teaming up with Netflix um, to make some flavors um, to advertise some flavors. So that's been really cool. Uh, before I get into more details about this, uh, just go ahead and uh, you know give this video a like, comment, and share. Go ahead and subscribe to me if you haven't already. And check out my Instagram, Redneck Snack and Food. So, this is the second Netflix flavor they've done. Um, I'm going to review the other one soon enough, but I'm so far behind on it. I'd rather review the newer one while I might be able to get some views and all that nonsense. So, um, the one I'm reviewing is Chip Happens. Cute name. So, it's... Ooh, I like how they describe it. A cold mess of chocolate ice cream with fudge chips and crunchy potato chip swirls. Very interesting uh, ice cream for sure. They've also got like a little paragraph that says, Nailed it. Sometimes chip happens and everything is everything's a mess. But we nailed it with this chip fill limited batch. When smooth chocolate ice cream melts, mates fudge chips, and salty swirl, it'll deliver a serious one-two crunch. The best part, there won't be anything left to clean up. Now, for me, um, I'm not going to eat this whole pint, especially not in one video. I won't eat it all today either. But, uh, I mean, like, this thing has 11, uh, 1,200 calories. So, you know I ain't eating this whole thing right here right now. So, they're kind of wrong about that. But, you know, this is very interesting. I forget, I, I guess, okay, so it's the show called, it's either a show or a movie called Nailed It. And so I guess this flavor was featured in there, which is interesting. So I might have to check that out. Um, of course, I've got a lot of other things I've been watching on Netflix and Hulu. And today's Friday, so I still got to catch up on the last two episodes of The Clone Wars. So nobody spoil that for me. But, uh, yeah, I don't want to waste your time too much longer. This ice cream, I actually put it in that fridge behind me. If you don't see it, it's fine. But I put it in there in the little freezer I got. But the little freezer is not very, corroborating very well, so it melted. And I hate when Ben & Jerry's ice cream melts. I absolutely hate it. So bear with me. Um, we'll see if it is any good after all that nonsense it went through. But, you know. I hate it when it melts. So. So far, I just taste chocolate. I wonder how far I'm going to have to dig to get to the potato chip. So far, it's hard to find. It's hard to dig through this stuff after it's melted and refroze. A little bit of something caught my tooth right there. I don't know. I'm sorry. I apologize. It might take a little longer than I was hoping. But I'm looking hard for this this chip swirl they're talking about. I see it somewhat. 
better take my glasses off just to find it. I think I found some of it. For the most part, it just seems like it's chocolate. That's just because I guess everything started to go down to the bottom of this ice cream thing after it melted. I mean, it's not bad, it's just not got much in it from where from my start point. So it's I'm trying to keep y'all entertained for sure, but this is kind of hard, man. Um, now I got some chocolate pieces. Oh, um, no wonder they're saying you're gonna eat the whole thing because you gotta get halfway through it to find the stuff. I ain't used to seeing these glasses off my head. But I'm really trying to do my best to investigate this thing. Hmm. Dying to get a lot of potato chip flavor. Here we go. I found some. It's not in this spoonful, I don't think, but. Here we go. Here's some potato chip squirrel. I think it's pretty interesting. It's not extremely noticeable because chocolate um, carries a pretty strong flavor. But it adds a nice crunch to it. Um, I'm pretty sure if this hadn't melted a little bit, um, I'd probably be having a better experience with it. But... I don't know, it's, it's decent. What would really be cool is <coughs> if they did a flavor with potato chip and pretz. That would be really cool. Yeah, you get some, you can taste the saltiness and good old taste of potato chip. And it's good flavor. I like it. Um, I would recommend it. But I just really want to hit where it's got a lot of potato chip. Is that it? No. Here we go. I mean, it's good. And people probably think, oh, chip's weird. And then you got all the foodies and stuff. They're like, I'll try it. And so it's going to sell well for sure. Definitely. It's going to sell well. Um, it's just a salty, crunchier twist on chocolate ice cream, in my opinion. doesn't remind me too much of when you dip your french fries in chocolate ice cream. It doesn't remind me of that too much.
I'm gonna give it an eight to be fair. Um, cause all I get is a good flavor and it has some good crunch. Um, but I don't get as much potato vibe here, taste as I want. So, um, yeah, it's a solid flavor. It's, uh, got uh, it's got a good amount of chocolate um, pieces throughout. And I, I can see the potato pieces, but it's hard to distinguish those for sure. So, that's all I got for y'all um, for this review. That's all I got for today, too. Um, so, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you didn't, oh well, I'm sorry. I've got a couple more ice cream reviews coming in the near future. So, you better bear with me if you uh, don't want to watch them. Don't watch them. So anyways, that's all I got for y'all. Um, yeah, I'll see y'all around.